Hey guys, this is Dinosaur Drawer, and today I'll be showing you guys how to draw the Indoraptor. So if you really want to know how to draw the Indoraptor but you can't do it, this is a very, very easy tutorial, or at least I would think it would be a very easy tutorial. So before we're going to get into the video, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because a lot of you people that watch my videos are not subscribed yet. So it really helps me out a lot. So please make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell and maybe leave a like if you really like the video. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Hey guys, this is Dinosaur Drawer and today I'll be showing you guys how to draw the Indoraptor. So I know I've done a couple of videos about the Indoraptor in the past, but the fact is that, um, well, there was this one speed drawing of the Indoraptor that I did. It was not a tutorial, but um, I just kept getting so many uh, requests on doing a tutorial on that one that I just decided like why not so um, I mean like if you guys want me to do something and there are a lot of people that ask the same thing then I I can't help but just do it because I am here for you and I need to create content that you guys actually like to watch or otherwise no one's gonna watch it right so yeah um, the other reason that I uh, why I really want to do this video is because um, I've done a couple of Indorex, oh, I mean uh, Indoraptors in the past and um, they weren't the greatest so they were tutorials about how to draw the Indoraptor but um, since then I have improved quite a lot and uh, I really I was, I was just starting to get curious on what it would look like if I would redraw that drawing and um, so yeah that's the reason why so it's probably not gonna look as good as the, uh, the speed drawing that I did two and a half years ago but that's because I took like two and a half hours maybe three hours to draw that one which is quite a long time for just one drawing um, and this is just gonna be a tutorial which I want to keep in between like 30 and 40 minutes so yeah so there might be some quality laws on on like what it's gonna look like uh, but in terms of um, well if you if you like compare it with the time the, the amount of time that it took to draw it and uh, the, the quality of the drawing I think this one is going to be better and of course you guys get a good tutorial uh, out of it so yeah before we're gonna start this video Please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and um, press the notification bell so that you won't miss a single video. So yeah, let's get into the video. Alright, so what we want to start with is what I like to start with is drawing the head first. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a shape like this just a simple shape which will be a guide to where uh, how his head is going to be positioned so um, yeah so now we want to draw like a line in the middle and draw a an eyebrow right there then we want to draw an eyebrow that goes like this and then it goes like that and then his nostril would be about right there and of course we want to have a bump over there for where his neck, his neck is going to attach and um, let's get into his jawline first so his jawline is quite strange on the Indoraptor, I must say. A 
might have made his head a little bit too uh, like almost like it's compressed a little bit but I don't mind too much I don't mind it too much so I want to have this eyebrow a little bit further up like this and then over here will be an eye socket and a very small eye shape like that Just refining the shape of the head a little bit because it needs to look decent so now I'm just erasing the unnecessary lines and I'm also just thinning out the details that I already did because I don't really like them at this point all right so now we want to start drawing the neck so his neck is quite long but we are gonna draw it very very short in comparison of course because well not in comparison but because of the perspective that we're drawing it in so now we want to start drawing the back of the interruptor which is going up like this and then this tail goes to the side it ends up like right over there um yeah and now we also would like to have the shoulder mapped in for both sides so one shoulder there one shoulder here and then we want to have the, uh, the chest muscles i'm sorry <laughs> i can't talk today the chest muscles like right uh, like this and we also want to have the rib cage already put into place on this side and on this side all right so because of the perspective his body is supposed to get smaller and smaller um, so I might have made his uh, head a little bit too small I can always make it bigger let's make it a little bit bigger so this is actually something that you should pay attention to, attention to, but I didn't. I kind of forgot because of the fact that I'm recording and I'm trying to do multiple multiple things at once, and I am very bad at doing that. So yeah, I'm sorry. All right, just drawing the same shapes, same principles. And then an eyebrow right there and then this eyebrow will be right here and then his neck is sort of attached to his head like this because his neck is already right there Then we have his jawline of course which is quite strange I must say but it's gonna be fine sort of drew his uh, his bottom jaw a little bit a little bit strange so I have to redo that one goes more straight like that and then it just goes into the rest so I want to refine his jaw because I'm not really happy with the way it looks so I'm just gonna start from over here it goes like this and it has like sharp angle right there goes down goes up and then it 
goes like that. This nostril would be right about over there. And this line is a little bit going a little bit too far out. Alright, so over here we have an, an eye socket. Goes like this. And then right there we have a very small eye, but we can start with drawing a, a bigger circle and then just try to draw the eyelids around it and then we just draw a couple of wrinkles around his eye and we can also start putting in his teeth he has teeth on both sides, his lower and upper jaw. And his lower jaw is supposed to be angled more like this. More like an alligator or something. Not really sure for with what look they were going for. I wanna make this look a little bit more like that. I keep erasing, I'm really sorry. In fact, this is the second time I'm trying to draw this because the first time I forgot to, re to, to hit the recording button. So, yeah. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have been through the same thing as I have. Recording struggles. I mean, it doesn't happen very often with me, it just happens sometimes, if you know what I mean. So now we're gonna start drawing in the leg, one of his legs at least. His knee would be right about over there, and then it goes like that. And the other one would be about over there, going behind his neck. I am still not really happy with the way that his eyebrow looks at the moment. I'm just gonna darken it because it is supposed to be darkened. And draw another line like this. Something like that. A little bit of shadow there. Right, it's starting to look a little bit more like it. Alright, so this just fades into the neck. He has a couple of uh, a couple of bumpy scales right there, and then for his first arm, we're gonna draw a circle right there for the shoulder. Then we want to draw a like an, an upper arm shape like that, and then his arm is angled up more like this. So. His arms are supposed to be very long, but because of the specific um, angle that it's in, we don't really see too much of it. Now we want to draw almost like a triangular shape for the starting point of his hand. And then we want to draw one, two, three lines. One, two, three, and one, two, three. So what we do now is we want to attach like a claw to the end. And we want to, of course, put in the, the 
flesh around it. Put in some padding there. And then this one goes exactly the same. You cannot really see too much of the claw from over here. And at this angle we almost cannot see anything at all. So his thumb would be right about here. So we just draw in something like that. We cannot really see too much of it. And then we just draw three knuckles. Like so. Alright. So that's looking pretty cool. Now the other one goes down like this. An angle more like this, I guess. And then it just goes like this. It isn't too muscular. It's He has very muscular arms, he does, but they are very thin and long as well. So now we want to do the same thing. We want to draw the same kind of triangular thing, but now it's more like it's on the ground. So we cannot really see too much of it. So, um, yeah. So there's going to be an attachment point right there, right there, and right here. And the thumb will be like this. So we're going to draw a claw there, claw there and a claw right here. Alright, so let's see what that will look like. And then one right here. Because of the angle we cannot see too much of it, but we can see something, I guess. thumb would be right there. Alright, it's looking pretty okay. So this is by the way all improvised because in my original uh, reference photo you don't really see too much of the hand because there's grass in the way. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. So now for uh, this leg we cannot see it, but this one we can. <clears throat> so what we want to do, we want to draw a, let's say a circle. So this is going to be the ankle. And then over here there is a very big uh, claw that is attached to it, that we can see. And then there are two other toes that come, come down like this and there's another one right <coughs> right there excuse me so he is uh, he is trying to walk as you can see obviously but um, he is lifting up his foot a little bit so that he can uh, take the next step, I guess. But this one is completely behind. It's supposed to be right there. So yeah, we can only see part of it right there, but that's all of it. So now for the rest of his tail. I just want to finish it up like this. And maybe like this so he has a very thick tail but it just comes down to a very slender pointy end all right so now we have the basics of our uh, Indoraptor in place we only need to add some detail and some some shading um, for this point by the way I'm gonna 
switch to a different pencil because um, I want to have some more refined clear lines and stuff all right so yeah let's start so I'm just gonna go over this line make it a little bit more darker and there is a kneecap right there we can see and then it just disappears behind his arm and this is the rib cage just refining this side of the rib cage and um, also what we want to uh, do is we want to have the uh, like he has a couple of rows of armored platings and I'm guessing uh, that's a feature that he or she got from the Indominus Rex so you just want to draw shapes like this all the way until the end of the tail and they just start getting smaller and smaller as f if you go farther into the tail and then ju they just stop right there or well they are supposed to stop right here so let's erase it <coughs> they kind of stop right there and then what you want to do is you want to attach a shape like this to them on both sides and over here they just get very small so we don't really pay too much attention to it anymore and we want to do the same thing on the other side but they just the angle of which they are coming from is changing a little bit so where they attach is a little bit uh, higher or a little bit lower than on the other side or at least that's what it would look like we don't really see too much over there anymore so we are just going to continue Continue on doing this all the way on top of the head or uh, the neck, top of the neck. But here it just changes up a little bit because we have a different kind of scale pattern. Like I said, I just keep on doing that with mechanical pencils. I'm not really sure why though, but I just keep on doing that. They just keep breaking on me. Um, Alright, so <clears throat> this is looking quite good in my opinion. Let's see, we're at 22 minutes, that's not too bad. So now, what we want to do is we want to try and put in some osteoderms, I think that's what they're called. And he has two rows of these on each side and I just start off with drawing a couple of overly shaped scales as long as we are close to the point where the attention is supposed to be focused on and when I go further down I just do curved lines like this over here I'm still doing those overly shaped skills and over here I just already I'm already starting to change them make sure you don't miss a single row and then you just just do um, a couple of them on this side too but this time they're just they only have to be uh, a couple of small stripes like small little lines that just indicate a little bit of shadow coming from uh, from the osteoderm all 
Alright. <laughs> Not sure what that was. Alright, so this should be fine for now. I'm just gonna continue on doing a little bit of something like that to uh, not just stop the detailing just all of a sudden. Alright, let's... draw the tail in correctly. And because of the angle of the tail, I might be very messy at certain points because of uh, the fact that I'm not really used to drawing like this. I don't know where this little bug just keeps coming from, but I have my window opened and it's very hot. So uh, <laughs> yeah, you know what could happen. All kinds of insects and stuff that just keep on coming into my home. Trying to stop me from making a YouTube video. Alright, now we can finish up this leg right here. And we can also finish up this arm. chest and now his um, his shoulder is actually creating a couple of wrinkles into his chest as well and he has a very muscular build I would say right there and you have to make it so that it is like um, there was a time where I started drawing and I really wanted to draw something but people just couldn't make out the thing that I was drawing so for me it was like crystal clear I was like well that's that's a dinosaur don't you see that but people just couldn't see it so one of the most important things I would say that I've learned is try and make something recognizable so if you are not really good at drawing hands try and get the shape of the hand without the detailing so for example if you would draw a hand like if this would be an arm and you would have to draw a hand but you don't know how just get the shape of the hand like well this would be the shape of the hand right this would be the shape of the hand and then you can always just keep it like this and people will recognize it as being a hand Just going over everything, trying to make it so that people uh, can distinctly see the whole picture like how it's supposed to be seen, <laughs> I guess. So yeah, now let's go into his head a little bit because just drew a little bit of shadow and it makes it look a lot better in my opinion and then we can draw a couple of shapes like that all right that looks pretty okay 
and also, by the way, the Indoraptor is supposed to have uh, feathers on it. So we're gonna draw feathers, but we're not just gonna draw. We're not just gonna draw a couple of like feathers like this. What we're gonna draw because the Indoraptor has it like this. So he has the bottom part black, right? And then he has a yellow part, but we're just gonna leave that white and then just do it like that. And this way it will look a lot better. So the feathers are actually attached to the osteoderms. I'm not really sure if I'm even pronouncing it right. And then he also has a couple, or she also has a couple that just go through like that. So, that looks pretty nice, doesn't it? And we also want to do that on the back. So, the, uh, where the point of where the feathers are going to start on the neck, by the way, is at the point of his or her hips. So, right about right there. So, we're just going to draw the same thing, but they have to be a little bit darker. So that people can actually see them a little bit better. I want to make them a little bit more crisscross going through one another. Alright, so that is starting to look pretty cool. Just a couple more. Alright, here I'm gonna stop with them because I don't want to ruin the drawing. So, now for his face. He has a little bit of shadow in between every teeth. And in this area, they just go up very, very high. The uh, separation or the, the indentation or something. Something like that. And then we just draw a little bit of shadow underneath the uh, teeth so that they stand out a little bit more. Not too much. So now we also have to draw in a little bit of shadow for the jaw. Like this. And like this. So this would be about the right tone for his whole head. So now we just want to draw a couple of shapes like this. But he has or she has a stripe coming down. And I'm just mapping it out very roughly. It just goes into the shoulder like this and then it goes kind of down the arm like that. So we need to pay attention to that tiny little factor. Alright, don't go too much with the don't do too much of the darkening and everything. Just make sure that you can create something that looks like this. So this is the reason why we're giving the body of the Indoraptor a certain tone. Because now we can create the stripe and make it look like the actual stripe of the one that we see in the movie. The bottom of his uh, neck or his throat is going to be very dark and there's going to be a lot of Rimples and wrinkles everywhere. So we're gonna draw that in right now. And I'm really sorry, by the way, if my voice is starting to get um, very soft because uh, I have an air uh, an air conditioner turned on, and my headset, the mic that I'm using right now, is um, programmed in a way that it just tries to mute the background noise. But if I start to mumble a little bit, my headset thinks that my voice is actually a background noise. 
So that way, um, yeah, my headset just sort of tries to mute my voice, if that makes sense. Alright, so there's going to be a lot of shadow over here. like so and then the tone over here will be a little bit lighter and over here it will be even lighter than that because the Sun is reflecting light on it so actually the bottom of the a uh, lower jaw is supposed to be dark as well. And the inside of the arm, this arm, is also supposed to be very dark. Actually, it's supposed to be fully dark, but I just don't want to do that because I lose a lot of detail. And I really like the detail right there. So, I'm just gonna keep it like this. Still have a little bit of a highlight there. But I will be darkening a lot of this foot right here. Because it doesn't really. Well, it does look cool, but yeah needs to be darkened quite a bit something like that and then there is a little bit of a shadow area right there because of a muscle I guess not really sure <laughs> All right let's darken this and let's darken the thumb and let's darken part of this finger supposed to be a little bit of shadow as well all right the bottom of the belly is gonna be shadow and that's the reason why we don't really see the pattern the, uh, the yellow stripe on the belly at the moment Because it is supposed to be on the belly, but it's just a little bit too low for us to see. And then over here, there's gonna be a lot of shadow. And also a couple of wrinkles going into this leg right there. And you can also see a little bit of that on this side, but not too much. Underneath the, the knee calf is also going to be a lot of shadow and this whole part will be dark. So we are at 37 minutes so yeah this video is going to be about 40 minutes long I think. But that's fine because it is quite a sort of a detailed drawing. Or not really too detailed but yeah you get what I mean. You know what I mean. Um, Alright, so in between the, the fingers, we want to have a little bit of shadow on the padding. Because of the fact that they are so far apart, there is still light that is able to reflect on the... Uh, onto the fingers all right um, over here there's gonna be a lot of shadow and over here we have an elbow that we cannot see too too good by the way this area will be completely darkened as well that's the 
the foot or the, the leg, I guess. And then over here we have the same sort of tone as on the other side. But on the, uh, the area where the leg touches uh, the body, the rest of the body, it's starting to get a little bit more shadow. And also uh, in the middle over here, because there's a muscle there. And over here there's also supposed to be a muscle, but I cannot really see it too good. So I'm just going to draw it like this. Alright, so now for the tail. So in the tail, we actually start seeing the pattern or the stripe pattern. No, well, that's it's not it's not really a pattern. It's just we start seeing the, the stripe that is right there, and it just goes on all the way, almost all the way till the end of the tail. So we're just gonna try and see how far we can get it that will be okay for us like that all right so his leg by the way is actually over top of his tail right here because his hip bone is right here and the same goes for this this leg over there his hip bone is right there so yeah that's how it works there and over here his uh, or her tail I am not sure what to, what it is uh, gender wise I don't know and uh, well I'm just scared to pronounce the gender of anything I draw because to this day still like I did a Mothra video three or two years ago and uh, I still get messages like I still get comments saying you idiot she's a girl so <laughs> yeah I have no idea if the Indoraptor is a girl or a boy so I'll just call it an it if that's okay all right so now it is time to start and add a little to the pattern or to the yeah the pattern of this stripe but don't make it too dark because the tail is indeed is in fact not indeed is in fact further away than uh, the rest of his body so the tail is supposed to be a little lighter than everything else apparently that's one of the uh, one of the the great tips that great artists uh, give to people and it's also something that you see in comics as well so the tail is going to be very dark over there as well and it just starts to fade into a lighter tone all right let's um, let's get some detail on the on the fingers so on the fingers he or she or it has scales like these and actually we should uh, erase the middle line that I drew as a reference for where the finger fingers were gonna go and then just draw the scales right over top of it like this and it's starting to look quite good in my opinion and also on the thumb you can see a couple of them but it's just really dark so you, you cannot really see it but you know it's there and um, yeah, I guess we're basically done with the drawing. Let's let's uh, refine the jawline a little bit more. All 
right. So uh, I'm happy with the way it looks to be honest. If you like the video leave a like, comment below what you think about the video and the drawing in general and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you won't miss a single video. So this was Dinosaur Drawer and goodbye.